It is castabouts versus hard knock citizens. All right, guys, welcome back to Alliance Hornet 15 Action Day 3. I'm Elise Randolph, joined by Reload, and we've got Hard Knock Citizens in blue and Castabouts in red. Uh, Hard Knocks have come in pretty close, actually at 30 and 50 to the arena in a Twin Eos, Twin Ishtar, Twin Hyena, Twin Hound, Vexor Navy Issue, plus Oneros for support. Um, Reload, tell me what Castabouts brought. Uh, it's going to be a little bit interesting. Yeah, Casabouts have brought a double Dominix, double Ishtar, double Deacon, so they're bringing the Logi Frigates out, Purifier, Magus, V9, and a Huggin. So there's going to be some interesting stuff. I'm going to see if the Huggin can actually control the two Hyenas. It's going to be pretty interesting to see what the control war is going to be like. Um, um, I have a feeling that Hard Knocks probably have the edge on just composition alone. I like the dual Leos and the dual Ishtar. There's a lot of damage, there's a lot of links there as well. While the Castabouts are bringing no links, but then instead they're bringing the Dominixes. And I have a feeling those Dominixes are going to be packed full of smart bombs. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see whether they have nukes or smart bombs in the highs. We have seen some new Dominixes earlier today. Um, you know, obviously the Dominix can, can put whatever they want in their high slots. Because it uses drones as its primary weapon source. So a lot of people have been using it as like a, a poor man's Geddon, in a way. Uh, I don't know why they don't bring it again, but whatever. Uh, they, they can bring the Dominix because it's cool. It kind of looks like a, a brown lumpy shoe. So, I mean, you got that going for you. Yeah, true. I mean, the the, Dom, the Dominix also gets the uh, drone optimal range and tracking speed bonus as well. So those are pretty good on uh, on heavy drones, but mostly, mostly used for sentries, but can be used to heavy drones as well. Obviously, they don't get a speed bonus, but they can fit those drone nav comp computers to make those heavy drones really really fast um it's going to be pretty interesting to see what castabouts will actually do what do you think castabouts are actually going to do against this uh kind of scary eos comp i think both teams do have to like figure out a way to deal with this logistics so i expect castabouts to get their uh hugan and put the webs and paints on the oneros and just have castabouts just throw all of their drones on the hard knocks oneros um they are actually decently far from one another the warp in uh, was a bit of an obtuse angle, but uh, not too far to burn, probably about 60 kilometers for them to, to get onto that Oneros. Yep, and it does look like uh, there's not much damage on either side right now. Hornox is actually burning away towards the micro jump unit beacon. That's, that's, uh, that's a pretty common strategy now to actually bait the drones from coming in and then MJDing out and then launching their own drones. It's going to be interesting to see if that will actually work out for them. And from what I can see from these drones, I'm seeing Berserker SW900s. And from yep, what so I... those are heavy webbing drones. Yeah, yeah. I think they're actually t the target paint drones, um, if I'm not mistaken. Or are they the webbing drones? Uh, they're <laughs> the, the, no the webbing ones. Uh, they're they definitely are the, web the webbing ones. Okay, <laughs> okay so that's pretty automate... interesting. And, yeah, it's actually... Uh, there a... is, there's a hyena that also just read as well. <laughs> There you go, Hard Knocks, Boundary of Hyena, good good stuff there. Um, another interesting maneuver that these guys might do, because Hard Knocks do have two Hounds, they could potentially get into position to bomb Castabout's Drone Swarm. So uh, as they're sitting there, their Eos is tanking right now, the Hard Knocks Eos is tanking just fine. And uh, let's watch out for these Hounds to see if they can get any bombs in on, uh, on the Drone Swarm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it does look like Castabout's are actually just, you know, they're just hugging the Hugging. Um, they're not really doing much, not really moving much, they're sitting just fine, sending their drones all the way to the Hard Knocks uh, team, while the Hard Knocks is actually being webbed by those uh, those web drones, and they are actually trying to kill a bomber right now, uh, but he seems to be tanking just fine. Alright, there are some, uh, so those web drones didn't die, they just couldn't catch up with the EOS, uh, because the EOS is a, a very fast, going 700 blistering meters per second, and those uh, berserker heavy berserker web drones could not uh, catch up. But yep. uh, it does look like Hard Knocks are being a little bit coy right now. Their Drone Swarm is not at uh, the Castabouts team. They are actually using their drones to kill the Castabouts drones. So Castabouts are losing some drones here. Um, obviously the Dominixes won't care too much, but the Vexor Navy issue and the Ishtar's definitely will. They'll feel that pain. 
Absolutely, it looks like there is a Game of Drones happening right now. It, it, you've got the Galante versus Galante, so the Dominix is spewing out drones, trying to kill the EOS drones and the Vex and Navy issue drones. And so there's going to be it's going to be a long drawn out a war of attrition right now. They have to see if they have to kill each other's drones and try and see if they can eke out on the drone advantage right now because uh, neither of them can really. Uh, basically break each other at this point. Looks like uh, Castabals are trying to kill the Hound, but no avail there. So it is a game of drones at this point in time. It looks like there are some scrum effects on drones as well, Hammerhead 2s and the like. And yeah, it's just like a game of attrition right now. Just a lot of game of drones going on. Yep, and we see another set of heavies coming out from these Dominixes uh, going towards the Hard Knock side. Uh, it looks like they're going to focus on Lysis, who is separated from his group a little bit uh, in this EOS. Uh, the webbing drones. Oh uh, no, that's actually Hugen webs. Okay, <laughs> so the EOS is uh, currently webbed and painted. A tough nut to crack though, even with all the drones. And I think Lysis is out here on his own to bait the drone swarm. And maybe, just maybe, these hounds will come and bomb their own teammate and kill all of the drones in the process. But uh, but who knows? Absolutely. Um, let's see if Lysis can debate all of these uh, cast about drones right now, because if they do get a really nice bomb run, they have definitely won the game of attrition of these drones right now. And uh, looks like there is really nothing that's really being break now. Lysis is in half armor, but the Deacon of uh, Yafan 2004, he's also in half armor as well. So we're going to see who breaks first right now. Looks oh, like they are disaster. stabilized. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's some smart bomb activations. It looks like they're all brawling in and smart bombing uh, the Deacon. So they, I think they've actually just destroyed, I think they actually jet baited all of the drones from the Hard Knock side, I think. So Chip Flux and the Hugin accidentally, or I assume accidentally, charged into the Hard Knock side. He is separated from the rest of his team, and now he is being singled out. And all the Hard Knock drones are all over the Hugin, and he drops. That is all the control on the Casp outside uh, as Chip Flux goes down. Uh, Eos, belonging to Lysis, is still tanking decently well. And uh, it doesn't look like he's in that much danger. Yeah, he is stabilizing slightly in half armor right now. Um, he seems to be, you know, he was in a little bit of trouble. It does look like he's stabilized. Yeah, he's stabilized right now. Uh, Castabout's immediately trying to go for those hounds and purify. Well, the purifier for down for Castabout. So it does look like Harlanx are actually trying to headshot that, um, that support wing that they have right now. And castabouts are not really doing much damage they the eos is stabilized and they're trying to go for a hound but they're tanking just fine yeah uh castabouts have damage split between uh, the hound which is taking just a little bits of damage but they're trying to focus on tom schofield's vexor navy issue uh, the vexor navy issue went forward next to this dominix to, to try and hold him down a little bit and the dominix had put his web and grappler on him yeah absolutely and uh well, oh, that the, Magus just instantly yeah, yeah. died. The Magus just got deleted by these uh, these drones from the Hard Knock Citizen. Meanwhile, the uh, the Hard Knock Vex and Navy issue, he's sitting in half armor and, and another bomber as well. But it looks like he may be able to stabilize because the uh, the drones are really not doing much damage right now. This Vex and Navy issue is sitting uh, quite nicely. He is. I don't think he is stabilizing, but he is delaying the inevitable of his death. He may not even die because uh, he is still getting reps. If they can kill a lot of this DPS from the Castabout side, he may survive, but I really don't think so. They are killing a Deacon right now, so they are focusing on the logistic reps of Castabout. There you go, Deacon down, so no reps of Castabouts right now. Yeah, we were talking about it all day. Although uh, Pothy does love the freaking logistics, they are tough to fly and also very vulnerable when one of them dies. So uh, we saw Hard Knocks take one of the Deacons down, belonging to uh, Unifan2004, and this second Deacon couldn't do anything by itself. And, and now it's just cleanup crew. Uh, uh, Castabouts did get a Vexor Navy issue, belonging to Tom Schofield. They did get that down, uh, but that's the only ship they've been able to kill, and they've traded all of their logistics, all of their control, and uh, now they've got an Oneros on the Hard Knock side, which can do whatever it wants, and it can potentially rep the entire Caspouts uh, side. Yeah, absolutely. At this point in time, Hard Knocks can they can just suicide their drones in and pr pretty much still uh, stay pretty because their Oneros can just turtle up and tank this pretty much these dual dominates, these dual Ishtars at this point, and slowly whittle them down, which is what they're doing right now. They are very slowly killing an Ishtar, but you know those. Uh, those drones are in the sphere of influence of those smart bombs and Ishtar down now so I think it might be too little too late for Castabouts right now to turn this around. They still have their two Dominics which is still quite a lot of damage. Eos is grappled and neutered but he is getting wrapped up just fine right now. 
Yep, the Dominix is smart bombing as uh, you predicted earlier, but as you know, as you said, the Hard Knocks team left the Dominixes for last, so their their drones aren't really in any bother. But the Hard Knocks side, uh, it looked really boring. Looked like nothing was going on for the first three minutes. That's because Hard Knocks was focusing on the Casabas drones, uh, killed basically two flights of drones from the Ishtars and the Navy Vexers, and uh, some from the Dominixes. Dominixes are the only ones that had drones left for the match. They were able to just pick everything else apart. So really good play call on the Hard Knock Citizens team. Uh, they knew exactly what to do in this match, and they executed uh, almost perfectly. They did have Carl burn outside of the arena in this hyena when he wasn't pressured at all. But, I mean, all you can do is your own personal best, you know? Absolutely. I think he is he going to get a, a nap into habit right there, Alice. I'm going to try and poach him. Uh, he's got he's got boundary violating metal right there, and uh, I appreciate that. Absolutely. And um, a quick note, actually, while these uh, these Dominic when these Dominixes were actually like burst smart bombing, their attack bot actually increases significantly. As you can see right now, that you see that as he's smart bombing, the attack bot is actually increasing. So that actually sees why there's so much like spiking damage it's because of those smart bombs trying to uh, destroy all those drones off those dominic so that's a quick thought there while uh hard knock citizens is just gonna clean up these dominics is now they're being muted nost target impeders and scrammed uh yeah it's pretty much clean up right now what could castabouts do in the situation that they were at the start right there do you think they could have done anything different I don't know. I think they just had to turtle around their Dominixes. I think Chip Flux moving forward in his Hugin was a, a bit of a misplay there. Got him out of position and allowed Hard Knocks to uh, just throw their drones without being next to the Dominixes. When you have smart bombs on your team, you want to huddle around them. So when the opponent throws their drones on you, you can just smart bomb away uh, any of the, the incoming damage. So yeah. Hard Knocks decided to, to shoot the drones, but cast routes. I think they could have, if they had to play this one over again, played a little bit differently and just uh, send their Dominixes forward. Yeah, I think the, they should have played their Dominixes a bit more aggressively. They should have tried to brawl in or at least tried to get themselves in a better position because all they did is basically just sit there while the Hard Knocks, you know, they pull back and they're like, all right, what do we do here? They were all pulled up on the micro jump drive beacon because they knew they were pretty much, uh, there was no risk because there was no scrams and there's not really much uh, tackle on the Castafal side. So they obviously thought about it and then they definitely went in when the Hugin, you know, overextended quite a lot and then just going for that headshot and... Uh, with that, uh, Casabouts lose 14 to Hard Knocks is 81, and with, with that, we'll send it back to the booth. My nerds, welcome back. It is the end of day three of Alliance Tournament 15 here from the EVNT studio. Tomorrow we will be doing the winner's bracket, go rolling down those matches. Very excited about that. Had some fantastic games today. Massive shout out to all the people on staff here, all the AT teams, all the AT players, everyone between the casters and the streamers and the people doing everything else. We have uh, just a graph on the voting for today uh, to come up for you here to show that it was match 71 which has the most votes, which I believe was Samurai Sold Out versus Ghost Legion falling to the pit of match 73, um, which was, actually that may have been Ghost Legion versus Samurai Sold Out. I've got the two mixed up now. Never mind. Uh, this is, we got a general upwards trend apart from uh, kind of midday, possibly after the break when people went to get a coffee and forgot to uh, keep voting. 
There we go. And uh, with that, again, thank you to the sponsor, Chill Blast. Thank you to everyone involved. Make sure you come down tomorrow to the Alt Lounge to hang out with us as we do our final day of the Even Cast. Like, follow, subscribe to our stream and uh, go to our YouTube where all the VODs will be uploaded as soon as possible. We got last weekend done already, but uh, this weekend will be up as soon as we possibly can. And we will see you bright and early tomorrow at 1400 Eve time for the winner's bracket of day four of Alliance Tournament 15.